Hi all, Richard from Tomorrow Games here again. So I thought I'd make this simple video on how to connect a F710 Logitech wireless gamepad to your Windows 10 or Windows 8 machine. Not too long ago I bought one of these um, gamepads and was unable to actually get it to work with my Windows 8 machine. And so I thought I'd make this video for anyone else who's having that problem. Alright, so after you've gotten your wireless gamepad out of the box and you've put in the batteries, install the batteries, the next step is to connect your device, your USB wireless receiver to your computer. Now I suggest you do so using the extension cord that is provided. That extension cord increases the range of the receiver. So please use it. When you attach that, ex that receiver via the extension cord to your computer, you're most likely your computer will detect it and install the drivers that it thinks it's best, which is the Logitech driver. To see which driver your computer installed, all you need to do is to pull up the device manager, right click on the start button and you can pull it up like this. And you can see here that my machine installed or tried to install the wireless gamepad F710 which is actually the correct driver for my device but as you can see here the driver there's a problem with that driver as I said earlier that driver doesn't play well with your Windows machine so what we need to do is replace this driver with the correct Microsoft driver the one that will work with your machine and how you do that it's very simple all we need to do is right click on your driver the driver that was installed the wireless F710 driver and we don't uninstall it we just say update driver software. We choose that option. We choose browse my computer for driver software. And then we choose this option. Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And while there's a huge list here, all we need to do is scroll all the way to the bottom. And then we will see Xbox 360 peripherals. We choose that and go next. And there we have it. This driver will work with our device and play well with Windows. So we select that and hit next. Notice you will get a warning because it is not officially or technically the driver for your device. Uh, Windows has to give you this warning but uh, I assure you it does work so we can say yes we want to continue installing this driver and you see Windows has successfully updated your driver software when we close this off you will notice now there is no warning on your device driver and your device is your driver is installed your device is installed so there you have it guys hope this video helped um, and keep checking back this channel for more helpful tips and tricks bye